Hey, thanks so much for pressing play once more. Um, this video is going to be a combination of something I saw today in this free paper that we get in the UK, the Metro. Um, clear numbers straight on that front page, the, how hot it is. And it's kind of like straight away just the mirror of that, you're getting 888. I thought that advert was pretty funny as well. Again, duality, wakey wakey, indeed. And I just kind of, that caught my eye, the only a pound. Purely because that, if you flip it, looks a bit like 13. Could, could be, couldn't it? Australia, the upside down. It's an Australian brand, I think. It said something somewhere about Australia. Yeah, there we go. Australia's number one drink. Um, hmm. Wakey, wakey. But I just wanted to kind of follow on from the moon video. I, f I forgot to put in this little one for the sun distance. Um, I'll leave the link again for the moon page. Uh, on it. So we've got again how they get these numbers I've no idea but they think that it's accurate they tell us it is. The more I've been investigating these it's as if they're just doing it either on purpose or it's just proof that it is a complete construct of you know numbers patterns that shouldn't be there but clearly are which proves that it's not just natural, it's not, it isn't, it's, um, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's clear that it isn't what people believe it to be, or the majority of the world. But anyway, that's the figure they've given us for the 13th of July, which again is the date that I'm pretty sure now is going to be a date with a, a lot of significance in terms of, I don't know, it could be earthquake, it could be more. It could be involving the whole world. Um, I mean, if Yellowstone was to properly go, that would affect the whole world because of climate, you know, the, the smoke or the fume that had spread across the whole, everyone would be in darkness, the whole world. So maybe it could be that. That's maybe what's coming. I mean, this is the inside of the Radiohead Moonshape Paul album. Very interesting that is. It's clearly water that is there for me. And then you've got like, yeah, the difference. I don't know. Definitely a duality thing going on there anyway. But yeah, let's just go back to then. So we've got that distance that they've given us. And you can pretty much just do that. That added together comes to eight. Six, nine, eight there already. Nine plus the seven, 16, one plus the six being the seven. I mean, straight away when you look at it, you can tell that there's a, you've got your three sevens without even having to do anything. And the 69, um, which does it make me think, yeah, either these are just false numbers that they're just doing on purpose it's almost like a, a, they're having a laugh. But here again, so it's just another way of doing that. 152, just doing the mirror of it. You get 403. Obviously, get rid of 0, 4 plus the 3. You've got that God plus man thing occurring again. The 7. The 69. You've already got. This time using the 9 plus the 8. To get you the, either just a single 8 if you want, or do the mirror system again and get the 88. Always still having your three sevens. Um, so now just, so that's covered the sun distance. It all ties in with the sun as well, all these events and dates. 
um, sun and moon because they're both connected in the same way. Both artificial, in my honest opinion, with you. <laughs> Definitely artificial. Not natural light from the sun at all. And the moonshine that we get is from the sun, so the both both things are false. So looking just at the moon age now for 13th of July. Um, I did touch on it again in the last video also. But I'm, I didn't have time for this equation. Not this bit, this is just a quick one. Um, that's just like, you can just do the 1 times the 8 for that side, 8 times 2 for the other side. We'll give you 16. You've then got 8, 1, 6. Adding those together you get 15, which is a 6 and a 3. Narrowed down. Um, sorry, yeah, that's just two threes this from the 6. I should have put the other 3 there. But. But also, 8 plus 1 being 9, keep the 6, you've got 96. Um, so you've got 69 there on the distance. The moon age is a 96 again. So there's some 96s in yesterday's video. Um, also there, 1 plus the 2, that and that, gives you 3 and you keep your 88. That's just a cheeky one I suppose really, that one. But this is what I wanted to do, the 18 divided by the 82. Um, it always prompts you to do it with just having that decimal, it's like it's just begging to be divided. divided. And yeah, you get a pattern. So straight away, it's almost like alarm bells. As soon as you see a recurring string of numbers, you know you've got a code, basically. Um, so again, this date is looking more and more significant by these calculations. Um, I mean, you can already just kind of see just visually there how it blocks together. I wanted to just do it so it's a little bit more clear there. So adding them all up in the block, it's 18. So again, you could have just 1 times 8 and just a whole row of 8s. Or as it is, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8. So you've got like the line, the towers in between, separating the, the time infinity loop of 8. Also, 1 plus 8 is obviously 9, so it could just be all the rows of 9s to infinity. Because that does carry up, just keeps going by the way. It's just a constant 21951, 21951, so the 21951 would carry on there. And it'd just go on and on and on. And we all know that now that infinity and forever is, <laughs> is false as well, because it's only possible through numbers in this reality and that's why they've worshipped them so much because you they've created an infinity by numbers and I'm, in my honest opinion it's down to number nine anything that you get nine involved that's where you get some infinities because it's always that just one less i, th I think i'm sure that's the, the link to how you get where infinity comes from um, but there's no such thing as infinite, you know, there's no such thing as forever in this reality at all. No way. You only get forever through God. And the belief in, yeah, everlasting life that way. Um, not through the evil ways of these kind of people and psychopaths. Um, and there, this is the next one, because it does, there are more patterns to be found. This one was just... 396, 396, 396, constant. You can see that it's just with the 2 plus the 1, 9 keeping it, 5 plus the 1 is the 6. So yeah, again, you've got the 96, the anti-time. Also the 3 again. It's in the moon age patterns. And again, a reminder there, it's man 
for number three. Nine and six together being the anti-time. It's almost like, yeah, is this a date where man is going to either try and attempt to create anti-time or stop time or or what? Um, to create perfection. But it needs God, some, a God. But four isn't our God. That's just, again, the numbers. You can't put a number to God. Um, and it's like, I've looked at it in, in other videos, so my theory of where they're getting it for God from because he kind of doing that you could class that as two of the lines so uh, one remember the four lines bit from the other video one two that's it three and the four but I know it always does go across there so the other theory was it's um, one two three and look that's like an upside down crucifix and then they blasphemy it even more by putting a, a line there to make it a triangle and the right angle and they think that that's God <laughs> no Satan that is that false God and then also Going back to the beginning of this video, Wakey Wakey Britain, latent mirror numbers on the cover, as above so below, Australia style, down under. If you're kind of flipping that round, it's still 96, the 3 becomes the E. I'm starting to think that could stand for everyone. As in, because man, you know, that's classed as literally everyone, mankind. Um, but I guess we're going to see. Um, just remember the future. And it's inside us. Um, and they can't decide on what we believe. That's the only thing that we've still got, which is our own belief system and our own thoughts so yeah do not be deceived take care everyone thanks so much